Responsible caretaking should always include weight monitoring of your bird, and this should be performed at least weekly by the caretaker. Uh, if you rely solely on yearly uh, veterinarian examinations or perhaps bi-yearly visits to do additional grooming and everything else with your avian consultant, this may not highlight any of the health issues that we will be discussing in this future segment. The perfect candidate that we selected from our hairy colony and flock is Mealy. Uh, Mealy is a one-year-old juvenile that's also uh, challenged with a handicap because he's missing half of a wing on one side. And so he is a, a perfect individual for us to discuss the importance of regular weight monitoring. Now, of course, some individuals have personal challenges such as a handicap that might be limiting their exercise potential. But other species uh, might also be predisposed to having more weight gain. Uh, one popular species I can mention is perhaps the difference between a scarlet macaw and a arachloroptera, which is a green wing macaw. Uh, we more uh, commonly uh, see uh, m scarlet macaws being light weighted compared to the obesity challenges faced by green wing macaws. The reason why there's so much importance and insistence from the avian veterinarian community and all avian caretakers about regularly weight monitoring your bird is that this is a very proactive uh, activity that you can do and it's something that doesn't cost anything. It can definitely help you highlight any of the health concerns uh, should your bird ever suffer from any medical condition. This will definitely be highlighted uh, in the beginning and hopefully very proactively so that you can seek medical advice immediately. We believe that a caretaker can be empowered to perform responsible health monitoring on their birds, at least on a weekly basis, provided that someone assists you and shows you how to be able to weigh your birds on a regular basis without struggling with your bird and also without causing any stress onto your bird. In using the companion parrot weight monitoring chart available on our website, you can definitely keep track of fluctuations in weight and of course communicate more easily with your avian veterinarian should there be any fluctuations in the weight that have any concern. This can be either a weight reduction or a weight increase and these could be uh, easily communicated through your avian technician or your veterinarian clinic and this will allow you to be more proactive should your bird be suffering from a medical condition that is contributing to this weight loss or weight gain. With our flock at Harry and the nutritional research that we've been doing on our flock for the past 25 years, it is crucial for us to monitor uh, weight as it is also used as a critical and pivotal point when we're determining life stages of this bird. I mentioned prior that Mealy is now entering his first juvenile year and this is the most important future years now to come where we do not want him to gain any weight. All the weight that he's going to be gaining will be more difficult to take off in the next few years and so the ideal thing is to prevent the additional weight gain. Uh, when this bird was a fledgling of course uh, um, weight was, was very crucial for us to follow all the different weaning stages and this is very well described in, in our early parrot education program. But when we're talking and discussing the importance of weight management for a bird that has reached the juvenile age and adult maturity or geriatric age for that reason, it's very important that we mention the different reasons behind this as this will now affect the lifestyle of this bird, the life stage of this bird we already mentioned, but will also be impacting a lot the diet that you will choose to offer your bird and also the nutritional assimilation of the foods that you're actually offering. And so there's, there's a lot of um, troubleshooting that will go behind uh, weight monitoring of your bird and you will need veterinarian assistance in order to be able to brainstorm or troubleshoot any of these different preoccupations. But at least you will have a foundation to be able to um, look into the uh, preoccupations that are there or non-existent. Uh, many birds actually follow a very regular weight and they only get a seasonal change um, when they're out of the breeding season and, and this usually coincides perfectly with the uh, breeding season in the wild whether these birds are not a, a captive bred uh, they are not quite uh, domesticated yet and so their natural instinctive physical biological uh, needs are still there 
And so at Harry, we will see a little bit of an increase in weight just prior to a breeding season. Uh, for example, if a hen will be getting ready shortly to be brooding her clutch of eggs, uh, we will see a little bit of an increase and this will allow her to safely lose perhaps a 10% of her weight during the brooding uh, days that might last for several weeks. Um, if your bird is not a breeding bird and it's a companion bird and he is hormonal, he might also be facing the challenges of weight gain. And so this is something that you also need to establish along with your avian consultant, whether your bird is in a specific age, whether your bird is in a specific lifestyle, whether your bird is actually exercising when you think he's exercising, because many of our birds are actually uh, spending a whole lot of time being perch potatoes on top of their cage. And, and regrettably, this is not contributing to uh, any of the exercises that we're looking for, usually to maintain a healthy weight, which is, uh, uh, exercising of the legs and a little bit of flight involved as well and foraging. So we will be exploring a lot of these uh, different options with you and we'll be showing you exactly how you should be weighing your bird uh, given the different uh, behavioral challenges you have with your specific individual.